terrible, terrible heartburn. Where are the bolts? Ow. Let's see how it bleh. <laughs> Just found my fake eyelashes. Welcome to another episode on the Skyline Lexi YouTube channel. The other week, I was in the Shoppers Drug Mart parking lot with some terrible, terrible heartburn, and the Skyline wouldn't start, and it was like 9.30 p.m., and I just wanted to get home. We smacked the starter a couple times with my club that I used for the steering wheel, and it fired back up, so. Today, we will be replacing the starter on my Skyline. A lot of the OEM ones that I was looking at online were very, very, very expensive. So when I was doing a bit of Google research, I had seen that a lot of people were using forklift starters. So yes, today I will be putting a forklift starter onto my RB25. I saw this done by a fellow YouTuber. I will link his video down below. He actually put it onto his RB25 that he had swapped into his old Datsun. That gave me some hope, however, I'm not sure how the spacing is gonna work since this obviously isn't a Datsun chassis. Could be fairly simple. Hoping that this Amazon part doesn't go the same as it did for my oil pressure gauge. I just really wanna get the Skyline running well again right before the end of the season here. I do park my car at the end of October, beginning of November, so it'll be really nice to have it up and running for a few more weeks. Today is a beautiful day, so let's get started. Kind of hard to see for you guys, but the starter is way down there, so I can actually take probably take the wires off from here and then I might try and pull it out from down below. I have done it before that way, so we will see. The idea of you listening to Thank you. No problem. But the bolts are off and the wires are off. I'm gonna jack the car up and pull the starter off from underneath. I don't want this to end. Not again. I don't know if you miss me too, but I hope you do. So the bottom one was pretty easy to get off because I can see it right from here, but the top one is going to be more tricky. <laughs> I've got the ratchet on, so now I'm gonna try and loosen it from the top. Even if things never go back to what we were, what we, what I became so used to, what I thought would be forever. So this is the old starter. I know you probably can't see in here, but the splines on the starter are starting to look worn. So that is a good indication that this is probably failing. It's also like, what, almost 30 years now. So that makes total sense. This is the forklift one that I picked up from Amazon. When you compare the two, this one is a little bit shorter and fatter. So I'm praying that it just fits in the same spot. Thing is heavy. Day two. Good morning. Day two of this install. I had to quit early the first day that I was doing it. We had plans with some friends. All I need to do now is attach the wires and the plug onto the starter. Everything else is in. I have to say that top bolt is a massive 
pain in my butt to tighten. I didn't mention the other day, but the starter actually did fit quite nicely in the engine bay. I had no issues with spacing. If anyone didn't know, this is the RB25 DET engine in the HCR32 chassis. So I will hook those wires up and then try and fire it up. that a success I was actually laughing when I started up the first time it does sound super different than the OEM starter I turned it off and back on again just to make sure everything was working properly because you did hear it did idle a bit funny at the beginning I'll put a link in the description box below about the Amazon part that I got and I'll also link the youtuber that did this firstly that I found through the video so this is proof this is the beginning of turning the skyline into a forklift if you've made it this far thank you so much don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Lady in the charge, I am going.